Okay, wanted to put together a quick little guide here. I spent my Saturday replacing some of our barriers, and I wanted to put it together so everybody could see how easy it is to make some quick barriers for Airsoft and Nerf. Now, all you need is a good hammer, some scrap nails, I've got some paint here set aside for at the end, need a couple of scrap 2x4s cut to about 2 foot long, and a couple of small size pallets, about, about 3 foot by 2.5 foot, squared or rectangular like this one is here. I want to start out with this one. Now the main thing you need to look for is good solid pallets that are fairly smooth and reasonable size, provide some cover, and big thing is make sure they have some good solid runners that you can nail to. Because all you're going to do is put one leg on and tilt it back and you're going to secure it here with a nail and I'm actually only going to do one nail so that you can actually pivot the leg and adjust the angle of your hard cover. So that's all these barriers are going to be. So put one solid nail in and where I've taken apart these boards from another little pallet you can already see there is a nail hole there. So quickly hammer it in and stand it up and you can tilt the leg and now you've got you've got some hard cover to duck, duck behind. For an adult, these are tall enough for you to kneel behind, and you'll see that later. But I'm going to set that one aside. You can see I already have a couple others done. I'm doing a, a batch of these. But now I'll take another pallet. And again, these are small pallets. Just flip it around, find a good side. And you can nail to either the side runner, or in this case, you'll see I'm going to actually nail this one since there is a good solid center runner. I will nail to the center. And again, I'm going to put it at an angle, and I'll tilt it over. And I'm going to put one nail in one of the pre-existing holes again. Makes it just even easier to hammer. So all I have to do is get it started here, and then I'll move my hand out of the way, hammer it on through, and there's yet a second barrier. The Cutting of the boards to two foot long took longer than actually making the barriers. It's a nice solid barrier, good enough, and I'm going to set that one aside. Set it with my other two that I completed earlier, and you can quickly put some paint on it to dress it up a little bit. I'll do that off camera here, and as you can see, I'm, you can I put some text up here. I didn't want to make you actually watch the. <laughs> the painting and drying because I did put on a couple of good solid coats but it putting some paint on it will dress it up so it doesn't look so tacky and I'll give you a little clip here of me just taking cover behind it I had a couple people shooting at me just to show that hey it actually will provide a little bit of cover I'm using my favorite centurion there you can see the darts coming in it provides good cover I mean I'm 5'10 and built like a middle linebacker so that's what I used to do and it provides cover for me. Give it a little nod of approval. And hey, it was just a quick video showing how easy it is to make some good solid cover. And they're not they're not meant for you just to be able to bunker down forever. It's just to kneel down and get some quick cover. And since they are wooden, they're sturdy enough to use for both airsoft and nerf. But thanks for watching. Hope it helped.